Hi, it's Pavel with a C++ exercise from uh, the book Starting Out with C++ from uh, Control Structures Through Objects. And this exercise is from uh, uh, Chapter 6, Exercise 1. And we will be writing a program that asks the user to enter items wholesale cost and then also the markup percentage. It should then display the item's retail price. The program should have a function named calculate retail that receives the wholesale cost and the markup percentage as arguments and returns the retail price of the item. And we do not accept negative values for the wholesale cost or the markup percentage. So basically we are going to practice a little bit of uh, using functions in C++. Alright, we know that we will have a uh, uh, user to enter item wholesale cost and the percentage so we can uh, start with those and it's going to be double uh, wholesale cost I'll initialize it to zero and double percentage and I will initialize it to zero as well now we are not to accept negative values, so we have to check for that uh, while being entered. So uh, I'll do it in a while loop. Again, this is to, to be done. Uh, if I use if statement, it only performs the check once. While loop allows me to check the, the input all the time until the uh, user enters the correct va uh, value and then the while loop exits. So while uh, whole sale cost in fact we should probably uh, well they don't touch, they don't they don't just want a negative value so while the whole wholesale cost is equal or greater than zero and I'm sorry it's actually the opposite is is less than zero or uh, the percentage is less than zero. In other words, if these are negative values, we will perform uh, a simple uh, simple check. So uh, console dot. <laughs> I'm I'm doing a, a C sharp again. I'm a little confused now. Um, uh, I do a lot of C sharp lately, so uh, uh, so C out. We will write. Please enter non-negative number for the whole wholesale price and the percentage, and then we will do the. We will accept those values. First, we will accept the wholesale, and we will also accept the uh, percentage. Okay. Uh, except, I'm sorry, not a comma, of course. There you go. So, the first time the user uh, enters the program, we will again. Actually, we will do the same thing. We will. I'll just copy paste it. So the user will uh, will be prompted to enter the non-negative values, and he enters some values. Now we will check those values and see if they are less than zero, which would mean obviously that they're negative. If they are, we will output uh, the notice again and ask for the percentage after the um, you know, for the values when the values are entered the while loop is ba back it checks the condition if the values are correct this is skip and it goes on if they are not correct this is going to be looped until they are correct all right so now we need to do the, the, the pass these values to our function now they want us to name the function uh, calculate retail so let's do the function uh, we need to do the prototype first of course 
because I, I always do the functions after the main I keep the main on the top so uh, this is going to be a function uh, that will accept the wholesale and the percentage so it will accept two doubles so it will be our calculate retail uh, it's going to be a double it will it will accept double and a double so now we can actually do the function I'm sorry actually over here is a double it returns double as well okay so after the main we will do our double calculate retail and it will accept two doubles it will accept double uh, as I'll just call it cost and double percent and now uh, we need to calculate the, the overall cost now uh, so it's going to be a double total cost it's gonna be my variable that will hold the result of the calculation I'll initialize it to zero and the total cost will equal first we need to calculate what is the one percent of the cost so that's going to be our uh, total cost divided by 100 it will give us one percent now we will multiply that with the total percentages that the user of the markup so this this portion is going to return the total markup and we'll just add it to the total price so that's the wholesale the the cost and we will return total cost so now when we return the total cost we go back to our main after we check the input we will write uh, we need to call the function so uh, I will also over here I will declare a double uh, total price initialize it to zero and our total price will equal to the result of the calculate retail and we, we will pass the wholesale cost and we will pass the percentage and finally we can uh, output the, the result uh, so we will output the total cost is and we can do a little, a little bit of formatting like that and uh, it's going to be the total price okay so let's test it so I'll enter a neg non-negative value let's say 100 for the cost and 10 for the percentages and the total cost is 110 which is correct 10 percent out of 100 is obviously 10 add it to 100 it's 110 if I run it again with some different values, let's say uh, I'll do hundred dollars and fifty cents, and I will enter eleven point five percent markup, we get the hundred and twelve dollars and zero point fifty eight. Uh, I can quickly check that to make sure. So hundred point five divided by hundred, that's one percent times 11.5 which is the percentage markup and add it to the total price which is uh, before the markup which is $100.50 and we get the 112.58.5575 okay so it's working again we ask for the input we'll validate the input until it's correct in the while loop as long as any of the numbers is negative the while loop will be performed the body of the while loop will be uh, looped and uh, you know we, we got the message and ask for the input again then uh, we will assign the total price of our that which is our double variable the result of the function calculated retail we will pass the wholesale cost and the percentage into the function because we need those in order to calculate the total cost we will return the total cost 
In other words, our total price in our main method will equal to total cost in the calculate retail function. And we will simply output the result. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Of course, don't forget to do the prototype uh, function. Uh, if, you, if you use uh, the functions after the main, you need a prototype. Uh, if you use them before the main, you don't need it, but uh, it's, I believe, a better practice to have the main on the top. Okay, so I hope it helps you, and I will see you next time. Take care.